Hi Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 27 to December 2nd. I hope that you're all doing well. So before we get started, I just want to say that Pisces, my baby sharks, I don't feel that you're in your baby shark energy uh, this week. Uh, I feel more that you're in, um, I feel for the water signs, especially uh, that uh, there's there's sadness there or releasing um, just sense of sadness that you're going through and uh, releasing at this time, okay? So we're gonna start with the Oracle cards. We're gonna start uh, for additional messages. So we're gonna take the Starseed Oracle deck and we'll see what your card is for you this week. I also have a new deck, which is the Wisdom Oracle deck also. Um, take a card from here for you Pisces. One from the Souls Travelers deck. One from your animal totem. And last but not least, one card from the Ascension Oracle deck for you. For Pisces. Two cards are going to come out. So I take two cards. Of course, I drop my other cards. No problem. <laughs> I'm clumsy sometimes. Let's look at the first card out you got is Wandering Path. Okay, Wandering Path. Enjoy the journey. Instead of like focusing here, I, I feel what it's showing here is that maybe you have a map here or there's something that you have mapped out or you're wanting to do and you're probably really concentrating on that. What Spirit's trying to say is, well, you're going through this. Uh, enjoy the journey. Okay, enjoy your journey. From your animal totem, you got eagle, and it's about vision. It says there is time to look inward with an attentive eye. Allow your heart to guide you, and opportunities you never dreamed were possible will present themselves when you least expect it. Get ready for greatness. Okay, as you're wandering uh, your path and enjoying your journey. From the Star Seed Oracle, you got Star Family. You're part of a team of souls. If there, you know, if, so you are part of a team of souls and call in for support. All you need to do is ask, call them, and they will show. From the Wisdom Oracle, God, you got the Sisters of the Seasons, number seventeen. Cycles of growth, natural, natural law, and divine order. So sisters of the seasons, cycles of growth, natural law, and divine order, number 17. And last but not least, you got two cards from the Ascension. First one you got is number 22, Voyager's Journey. So you got Wandering Path, Enjoy Your Journey. And Voyager's Journey, number 22. And it says here, past life healing that's taking place. And then you got number 66, Beyond Illusion. Change your perception. Change your perception. Beautiful. I love your cards. Now we're going to do the Celtic cross. We're going to look at your situation, what's crossing you as your challenge, your immediate future, what is in from you that you cannot see, and the outcome. Then I will clarify the cards for you. And then at the end, I will give you what the universe wants you to know. And let's get started with your reading. Pisces. From November 27th, December 2nd, what are your predictions? Six of Cups. There is memories of love here. And there is healing. There is soulmates or people from your past. There could be past life for some of you. Definitely, there could be resolution and peace here. Taking place with your challenge is the Seven of Pentacles. Well, you're contemplating. There's something here you put a lot of energy into okay a lot and uh, you've been very patient and you're just waiting for things to change uh something from your past maybe or a person and you are at crossroads in the root you got the page of swords so it's about seeing things differently it's about perceiving things differently there's new ideas coming in there could be some type of communication coming in as well in the recent past till now you got the hierophant there could be a marriage here for some of you if not this is about higher learning it's about taking the higher road. It's about your values, what's right, what's wrong for you. It's about learning different modalities. You're just learning, a lot of learning taking place here, okay? 
um, in the in the strength you got is the eight of pentacles or oh, you're keeping yourself busy like a bee right and this is in every day of your life what you're doing every day you're just doing things you know you're working towards something the eight of pentacles is still a good card you're keeping yourself busy here you're, you're putting a lot of energy into something in your immediate future you've got the strength card a lot of compassion here inner strength power okay um definitely but you're looking into something of the past the six you're looking at the six of cups right uh in the you position you've got the queen of swords you're thinking logically about things you're very honest and clear in, in the environment what you're not seeing is the queen of cups there is love here in the hopes and fears you got the nine of swords you're worried there's maybe some type of communication about communication there's anxiety there's pain here not sleeping at night something is keeping you up at night and in the outcome you got the queen of pentacles you got three queens already on the floor that's great uh you've been nurturing yourself here okay and you're very independent and you're very strong in energy but when it's strong in energy what i mean is that you're very grounded here in energy and um, there is stability and prosperity in the overall you got the two of swords You've been sitting on the fence about something you need to go inward to figure this out so there's a decision that has to be made and you also got underneath the deck is the four pentacles what are you holding on to what, what what's holding you back is there a shift of something there's something you're shifting here i have to see what this is all about let's clarify the cards for you i think this card does not belong here Two shuffles. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, this card does not belong here. This card. What the hell? taking some cards that probably were mixed up in these cards okay so let's look at the overall you got the two of swords from november 27 to december 2nd here what's taking place here for you for pisces nine of swords shows up again eight of cups six of pentacles you want things to come into balance here I feel that you are letting go of something you're letting go of worry and you're letting go of anxiety you're letting go of a lot of these emotions that you have been carrying or holding on to okay something that you've been stuck in your head in terms of your emotions in terms of how you're feeling and how you're thinking there's something here that you are going to go inward and make a decision on because i do feel that you are walking away now if you're walking away can be from a personal situation but also releasing something of the past here releasing all the the nine of swords energy you understand like uh, of worry of pain whatever this is and you're you're wanting to bring things into balance here so if you have been giving you know a lot of your energy to people or to charity been generous here or whatever it is that you've been doing it's coming back to you so i feel by you releasing whatever it is that you're releasing here you're bringing something into balance and you did get the queen of pentacles here as well underneath the deck bringing into that stability that you want let's look at the six of cups in your situation page of swords shows up again king of wands two of wands <clears throat> there's something in divine timing here okay because the divine timing is card is here so there's a new start for you something passionate You've been seeing the signs you've been feeling it there's positive news around this the universe is trying to propel you forward and this has to do with a wish fulfillment but i feel at times you are in conflict with yourself or there's some type of conflict around this because a lot of you maybe at this time are going to be in this hermit mood like you're going to be taking time out or you have been taking time out okay whatever the case here whatever it is it's about communication or if it's about perceiving something different it's about ideas or sometimes something some type of communication maybe you're wanting some type of communication maybe minimal communication as it is what it's showing me here is that you are making plans you're making progress with people and you're making plans and there's accomplishments but you still have two paths to choose from and what spirit is asking you because there's this 
feeling this resolution here is that some of you are looking into the past now the king of wands can be anybody or it could be just an energy but it is it's about seeing the bigger picture in the situation like the eagle the eagle the eagle sees the bigger picture of everything it's about being bold being daring it's about taking leadership and it's about taking action towards something here so it's almost like you know there's a sense of like you need to choose a path let's look at the seven of pentacles that showed up as your challenge because you are at crossroads here so let's look at this seven of pentacles page of pentacles nine of wands ten of cups yeah you're tired so you could be a marriage for some of you are dealing with it's not a marriage it's about high, taking the higher road it's about your values okay it's your values it's about learning different things here um, there's an offer coming in okay there's an offer coming in in terms of your happiness here what do you want to do so you are also rebuilding yourself okay in how you value how you put, present yourself to the world or to the people in your life or whatever it is here with the page of Pentacles but there's definitely an offer here at the table and you know you're just very exhausted at this time and you want that happiness okay you want that happiness whatever this is this is soulmate energy it's about feeling content and feeling happy here there's been a lot of challenges let's look at the page of swords in the root the chariot the moon <laughs> you came into the reading three of cups there's a new beginning that's taking place here for you but it's almost like you're not seeing where it's coming from no of course you're always with neptune and sometimes neptune it does create confusion okay uh, because there's blocked intuition here um, maybe of uh, there's some type of uh, message that's going to come from someone from the past for some of you while you're socializing networking there could be reunions whatever but there's definitely celebrations or something of the past there could be some type of communication here that's going to take place okay uh, you're not going to see it coming in I don't feel and it's about uh, you know there could be feeling like that there's deception illusions you have to be really careful and, and pay attention to your dreams at this time because there is going to be clues here but what I feel is that some of you are going to take your power back here you're taking your power back and you're moving forward from a situation okay so definitely leaving something confusion or something behind here where it's been very difficult for you I do see the difficulty but I also feel the pain but I haven't seen the three of swords yet but the, whatever the case is is that you're taking control you're taking your power back and you're listening to the messages coming in and you're going to move forward right you are going to move forward here but you have to give yourself time because the road is not clear at this time okay because there is a new beginning taking place here for you let's look at the hierophant in the recent past till now the king of cups so you have the king and queen of cups here the judgment the page of cups yeah something has been difficult see you got the nine to the ten of wands here so this is good that means there's an ending of a journey a very difficult where there's been obstacles it's almost like come you're you're coming back home to you're coming back home there's a sense of coming home welcome home okay you're laying the rods down there's an ending there's someone here that was reserved okay and um, very reserved they value family they were very reserved but they were open and maybe they were coming in as the page of cups who knows there was messages and possibilities here but it's also about listening to your intuition here were you listening because it was a judgment or there will be a judgment that has to be done revelations is going to take place okay in a thing in something that was very difficult here for you let's look at the eight of pentacles in your strength your work whatever it is that you're putting a lot of energy into is what your strength is <laughs> eight of pentacles with the eight of pentacles justice the strength again the hangman yeah uh definitely here uh definitely look at I also have the queen of pentacles that shows up again underneath the deck in terms of the karma is coming in here karma it's, it took you a lot of inner strength to go through a situation things were unjust 
It could be karma. There could be a divorce here for some of you. I do have to put it out there because there's so many changes taking place. It doesn't have to be just a divorce, but karma is coming in. Okay, definitely something is coming into balance. It's about learning all the life lessons and a lot of inner strength and power. At this time, there's something that had been stagnant for a while. It wasn't moving. It could have been you were someone was stalling or you were stalling. Whatever the case here, karma is coming in to change things. Let's look at the strength card in the immediate future. So I do have the strength card twice. So Leo energy. Some of you have Leo strong energy or you're dealing with a Leo. I also have Pisces, Cancer. There's a lot of signs here. Libra. Let's look at the strength. Seven of uh, Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. There was something of the past here. There's an ending of some type of stability or legacy or something long term. I feel that it took your long inner strength here. There was an ending. There's in the near future. There's an ending of a cycle. Okay, it was a very difficult cycle, but there's light at the end of the tunnel. It took you a lot of inner strength to go through something. I see this here. Okay, and um, with the seven of wands, you've been overcoming so many adversity and challenges. But with the seven of wands. It's about you fighting for what's right, fighting for yourself or fighting or standing your ground here. Whatever this is with the Ten of Pentacles, right? This long term fruit of life could be a legacy, an estate, a home, something long term, a project or work. OK, this has to do with something of the past here. OK, whether it's about finances or it's about someone here, there's been there's an ending of a cycle. And you have to stand up for yourself here. It took, like I said, it took a lot of inner strength here in the situation. Let's look at the Queen of Swords in the U position. Five of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords. I have the King and Queen of Swords, the King and Queen of Cups. I got the Queen of Cups again. Um, your heart and your mind are in the perfect place here, Pisces. You're very strong mentally uh, in the way that you're communicating. You're thinking logically. You know what you see, what you see, and you want to do what you have to do here. And you're also very open and very loving in energy. Maybe at one point you felt left out, ghosted in the dark here, or felt that you were lacking something here. Okay. But with the Emperor, this could be an Aries, could be the North Node in Aries, or this could be you in energy. Okay. Um, whatever this is, right? Whatever this is. Something changed you here, made you more reserved. And so it's about you taking action towards something. With the King of Swords, you've been observing this, like the ego, you've been observing this, there's vision here, right? And it's about attaining what you want here. Let's look at the Queen of Cups in uh, your environment, what you're not seeing at this time. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles, the Devil. Okay, Pisces, well, uh, it could be that you're dealing with a Capricorn. If not, this could be Saturn. This is about people or situations that do not have your back. Uh, you're looking into the past here with people or whatever you gave your heart to in the past, okay? It could be uh, sabotaging or patterns um, or releasing negative thoughts. In terms of how you're thinking about this, you're trying to bring something into balance. Maybe you're being pulled into the different directions, but there's definitely patterns over here that need to be released. And I feel that you are releasing the patterns, but there's definitely something or, uh, you know, that you're trying to release here. Purging. Or it could be, uh, uh, there could be um, a toxic energy or people. And in that sense, um, obsession, things that you are bonded to. What is this all about? Give me another card for the Queen of Cups, the Devil, the Two of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords, please. In the environment that you are not seeing. Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Sun. There's a new beginning for you. Uh, there's a new beginning. Something passionate. Yeah, no, okay. Let, let, okay, so, or it could be also Saturn. Saturn, okay. Saturn brings you to the next level of wealth as well. Whatever this is here, you're trying to bring something into balance here. It's important to stay grounded at this time. Maybe there was some type of heartbreak. Okay, with the four swords, there probably was heartbreak here, where you took time out to I took time out to isolate because you do have the hangman <clears throat> metamorphosis energy to heal the body, mind, soul to gain clarity in the situation. 
there is stability here in terms of money, in terms of home, in terms of something that's coming in as there's an offer here, okay? And two people, if there's two people showing up, because the sun is shining on this and there's a new beginning, the sun is the best card and there is a new start of something passionate here. Let's look at the Nine of Swords and the Hopes and Fears. Judge, a Temperance, Two of Swords, Six of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. There's something tangible coming in. You're trying to bring something into <clears throat> the Temperance card. You see the water here. There's an angel with the water, with the cups, and she's trying to, uh, they're trying to uh, bring the, the emotions into balance and how you're thinking in your emotions, in, in your relationships, whatever this is here. Patience is the key, okay? Healing. There's healing that has to take place here, but you're in your head about You're definitely in your head about something here, but it's a completion, definitely, okay? Because you've been manifesting a change, okay? And it's about making a decision, going inward and healing. Because I do see that you are gonna go, you're going through a transition and better times are coming ahead. Restoration and peace is coming and with blessings coming in. Some of you might be relocating or moving, but there is a decision that has to be made there. Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles in the outcome. Sandy, where are you? She's always, the dogs are restless tonight. I don't know what's going on. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles to Ten of Wands. Something here has been difficult. There's been a lot of difficulty, obstacles. The Ten is about the endings. There's a journey, there's a journey that you had to do and it was very long so for some of you 20 years 10 years five years whatever it is here there's it's been long these obstacles whatever it came to your wish fulfillment if it came into with what you wanted from your heart or if it had to do with stability or vitality here there's an ending of a journey okay and you are there is a wish fulfillment that's going to come in because you've been nurturing yourself and there is stability here and prosperity and you are making progress definitely you're making progress here slowly but surely this is a wish that's going to be fulfilled there could be always also someone coming in very slowly for you as well because it's coming in divine timing something is going to propel you forward if there's been <clears throat> if there's been if there's been conflict drama or there is it's, it's time for you to go within I also got the King of Pentacles here. So I got the King and Queen of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Cups, the Queen and King of Swords. The only missing is that King and Queen of Wands. So now let's look at what the universe wants to tell you, Pisces. Eight of Cups, the Emperor, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. You're rebuilding yourself here. There's going to be an offer coming in. You're walking away from what? Emotions, people, or situations here. Okay, you're rebuilding yourself. You're taking action. You're observing. And whatever it is that you want, you're going to attain here. Because there is definitely, you are rebuilding yourself here. There's definitely an offer coming in as well for some of you. That's what the universe is saying. You've got the emperor and the empress here. Something you've been waiting for. Something you've been waiting for. You have two paths to choose from. There's definitely a message coming in. And whenever you receive this message, it's going to create the tower. So change is coming. But I see it as positive change. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Uh, Pisces, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Please take care. Bye.